In this video we will load a project and perform a flux balance analysis and a flux variability analysis. First we go to projects and open the ECC2 comp project. This contains a compressed E. coli core model. The project has one interactive network map. Each box on the map corresponds to one reaction. The boxes show initially predefined default values for the reaction rates which are mostly undefined. In this scenario the default values are set to model growth on glucose, while glycerol, acetate and succinate cannot be taken up. Through the reactions mask on the right, we can get detailed information about the model's reactions and metabolites. All reaction parameters like minimum and maximum rate are shown and can be edited. Now we perform a flux variability analysis under this scenario. We click Analysis, Flux Variability Analysis. The results are displayed on the network map and the reactions panel. Fixed reaction rates are shown in blue boxes. Green boxes show the rate ranges of variable reactions that are essential, and yellow boxes show the rate ranges of all other variable rates. Next we perform a flux balance analysis. We click Analysis, Flux Balance Analysis. The results are displayed on the network map and the reactions panel. Blue boxes show the calculated rates and the objective value is shown on the console. This concludes the tutorial. For further information you can also look at the manual or contact us if you have questions.